Hi there, Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com, and welcome to your March 2021 of monthly forecast reading. Now, before I begin, I do want to apologize to you guys for the late uploads for the March 2021. I've been really swamped with readings and with doing a lot of rituals for people. Um, so, um, yeah. Um, anyways, let's just go down to to the reading. Um, please do know that this is going to be a general reading, so it may or may not tune in for each and every Scorpio people out there, so just keep that in mind. So you're starting off with a very emotional um, kind of energy. We have here the Ace of Cups um, and being crossed over by the Star card. It makes me feel that a lot of Scorpios, at the very least, you know, it's being triggered in a very emotional way during this month or at the very least maybe you are thinking about someone that you love someone that you care about and it could be someone that um once was a part of your life a big part of your life i would say maybe this person has hurt you betrayed you or you could it could be that you are the one who has hurt them or betrayed them, especially since we have here the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords has an element of betrayal, disappointment, or uh, a situation that is causing you some form of um, a lot of mental anxiety and all those kinds of stuff. And the fact that it is here at the top of the car, uh, at the top of the reading, it makes me feel that you know, uh, whatever it is that you're feeling right now. Um, I kind of feel that it has a special place in your heart wherein um, it's not just all about feelings, not just all about love, you know, there is a form of darkness to it, not in a very super negative way, but I kind of feel that, you know, there is a story into that, there is a past into that, it could be someone from the past, you know, whether it is your fault or whether it is their fault. I kind of feel that, you know, memories of this person, you're suddenly thinking about, about this person and, you know, you're having a lot of wishes and, you know, it, it makes me feel that, you know, uh, there is no concrete logical reason to it and you are just feeling drawn to thinking about that person, you're suddenly thinking about them, wishing for them. Um, your heart is calling for them maybe your heart mind and soul is you know desiring to connect with them again maybe there were things that were unfinished between the two of you or this could also be a situation wherein uh, there are things that were left unsaid uh, and maybe you're wanting to express that one way or another um only you will know scorpio what this reading is really all about all we know is that something is being triggered in a very emotional way for you you're thinking about this person you're thinking about something that you have left behind maybe something that has hurt you we do have the three of swords here at the uh, last card of the deck which gives me a feeling where in you know we are dealing with something that is quite painful to you you know there is, a, you know, it, it's like a situation wherein you, what you show to other people is very different to what is really going on inside of you in a very internal level. Maybe you are showing the world that um, devil may care. I don't really care about things. And I'm the type of person to easily move on in relationships. But deep inside of you, there is some form of um, something is vulnerable inside of you you're thinking about it you're you're actually in a situation wherein you are debating or or thinking whether you should take action whether you should be reaching out to them or not all those kinds of things we do have the knight of pentacles here you know there is a lot of deliberation you're taking things very slow so I'm not really a person wherein I, I tell people that they should go back to their ex or whether they should not go back to their ex. I mean, for me, that is going to be up to you and I don't make any judgment whether that is the right decision or not because I feel that every person has their own journey and if they have to go back to their person, um, maybe they're meant to do that. Maybe there's a story behind that and maybe that is a person for them 
you know so all we can see here is that you know there is some form of longing um when it comes to your emotions right now and i kind of feel that this situation has been long overdue maybe you have been contemplating about it for far too long you know you have been patient about it maybe maybe you are in a situation wherein you you were thinking that eventually they are not go going to resist me and they will going to talk to me again and all those kind of stuff and maybe they did not you know you have been waiting there is something that you have been waiting on you have been watching over a situation waiting for things to to happen and you know maybe things are not really happening in the way that you are hoping things to to be and you know um and this is going to be triggering you triggering you to actually take action and do something about it and of course i'm not expecting everyone to to have a re reconciliation with their partners or with their ex-lovers all we can say here is that there is something that you have been waiting on there is something that you have been contemplating in your love life in your relationship something has been really giving you a lot of headaches a lot of doubt a lot of pain in your heart so i would say that this can happen in 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 two ways wherein um this could be a situation wherein you are in a relationship right now wherein it's not making you happy and you want to listen to your heart and if you have been trying to be patient with that person and things are, things are still not working out you might be in the verge of wanting to break up with that situation wanting to break free from that relationship on the other hand this could also be a situation wherein you know you have been contemplating thinking about that person that is really special in your life and uh this could be a situation wherein you are you're, you're running out of patience and you would want to 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 do something to reduce something or take action on how you can talk to this person again to be with that person again because i do know that there's going to be a lot of messages here and i did forget to mention that the theme energy that we have is saturn saturn um saturn at times makes us unhappy but at the same time it gives structure into things so remember that the things that you do or the conclusions that you come up with during this month is something that is not going to be forced it is something that you will feel that you need to do it needs to happen you know i need to take action i need to do something i need to say something whatever it is that you you conclude on with your situation with your personal situation is going to be something that is needed you know um that it's meant to happen that is needed to happen you know that kind of situation i would say and at the end of the day um i would say that you are going to be following your heart you are going to be true to yourself and if you are in a situation right now wherein you feel that this is not the the right relationship for you this is not the right person this is not not the right path for you you are going to go ahead and follow that and you know make things happen to to get away from that relationship and this could also be a situation wherein um you might just um think about uh reconciling a love situation with your uh, past love or something like that and you're not going to be thinking about pros and cons of a situation i just kind of feel that this is about you acting upon your feelings and there's nothing really wrong on that as well so um I do feel that before you actually take action you are going to be feeling some form of frustration and this frustration is going to be the trigger point that will allow you to take action and to do something about it i also feel that you know there is something that is quite repetitive in, into this reading you know something gets repeated something is being um something of a harsh energy is coming in as well 
or at the very least a harsh but familiar energy is coming in i kind of feel that you know whatever it is that happens for you there's going to be some form of major change that is going to happen in terms of your relationships and decisions is going to be made either you you overcome a challenge you overcome a situation by maybe um you know if someone is being stubborn you're trying to over to win them over overcome a situation you know if there is a challenging situation to your love life into your relationship this is about you overcoming that adversity this is about growth this is about change and a, a new form of, of a beginning um as well so we're not really exactly seeing that you are going to be breaking up with someone but there is some form of situation here wherein something has been long overdue something is you know waiting to be unleashed waiting to sprout open <laughs> and this is really about you know something that is happening in your internal life with your true feelings so what is your heart telling you scorpio uh what is it that you truly want out of love out of a relationship are you being true to yourself are you being true to your partner or are you with a person that you truly want to be with or not i kind of feel that you know the answers that you have with the questions that i've gave you is going to be the bigger theme for you for the month of march and you know this is going to be a pathway opening a pathway um for um for a new venture in terms of your love life into a relationship all those kinds of things so in one way or another this is about you um learning something you know uh some form of maturity is all about adult love or much mat matured love kind of a situation we're in this could be like a lesson of whether should you be focusing on your ego or should be should you be you know um lowering down your pride and express what you truly feel for that person regardless of what has happened in the past or this could also be a situation wherein you you're you're fed up with putting up with this person um and you, you just want to do something for yourself this time around and you know if that person is not respecting you this is going to be a time wherein you are going to be choosing to love yourself choosing to do things that is going to be good for you that is going to be beneficial for you so again this is really going to be dependent on the situation that you are dealing with right now depending on the situation that you have during this time so there's definitely going to be some form of um change that you are going to make in terms of your love life and relationships and it is something that you have been thinking about for quite some time but you have never really taken action on and this is going to be the month we're in you know um i kind of feel that uh, something in your mind suddenly pricks or suddenly um goes off uh it's like a string coming off and something just went loose you know and you're you're finally going to move and do something about your situation so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me this is going to be a very interesting month for you guys and if you do want a more personal reading specifically looking into your own personal situation you can always do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by and i shall see you guys again next month goodbye